Jesus. I ordain you as an elder of this church. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. May your weakness be melted out. May God fill you with an excellent spirit. May you become a prophet and a pillar in the land and in the assembly. Now may God give you the attire of a great leader that can steer the affairs of the church. May you have gifts of discernment, wisdom and understanding. I ordain you in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit as an elder of the church. And may you flow with the spiritual giftings of God in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Deacon Joshua then now, by the imposition of the hands of the apostles, we ordain you as an elder of this church. May God open your eyes and your ears. May you have a regulatory and power giftings. May you begin to move in the tremendous anointing. From today, may you change into another man. May God use you to win souls for Christ and to use you to affect the kingdom positively. May God use you to establish sound doctrine in the church. May those who saw you yesterday see you from today and see that you are a changed person. May the Spirit of God come over you strong and may you begin to flow in the prophetic giftings in the name of Jesus. You are ordained as an elder. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. But at your webu asamwa, the Lord knew you when you were black cloth in your mother's womb. From wherever you work, He knew you. His call was upon you, and this is the appointed time that He has called you, in the presence of many witnesses, to establish that which He said concerning your life. By the imposition of the apostolic hand, we ordain you as an elder of this church in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May God use you. May you turn into another man. May you expand to the left and the right. May power and fire come from your ministry. May God use you to establish the church wherever you stand. May you stand tall as a pillar of the church. May you come and bring every shackles of the enemy down, and may God use you to build the church of God yes, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Sandra, I but Sister Sandra, I beg you, by the imposition of the apostolic hands, we ordain you as a dignity of this church. Yes. May the spirit of Deborah come over you. Yes. May the spirit of Rhoda come upon you. Amen. Hey. May the spirit of Dorcas come upon you. Amen. May the spirit of Priscilla come upon you. Amen. May you serve as a dignity of this great church. Amen. May you rise tall in your ministry. Amen. To you, many people will come to the Lord Amen. and give glory to God. Amen. By the imposition of the apostolic hands, once again, yes. we ordain you into the position of the dignity. May you flow with the prophetic. And may everybody see you and glorify God in heaven. I bless you by the blessing of the Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Als ze ook ruimte zijn, they come with wherever they go. Waar ze ook gaan, they operate as an elder in the dignity of a church. Ze werken als elders in dignity van een kerk. Elders are non-paid pastors of this church. Elders zijn niet betaalde pastoren van deze kerk. They are to pray for naming ceremonies. Ze bieden voor benamingen. They have the right to 
give communion. Zij hebben het, het recht om communie te geven. Minister als normaal in de kerk. In de, in, in, in de kerk minister geven. En Dickness is not going to be a queen, but is going to serve, and she's a servant already. En Dickness is geen koningin, maar zij is een dienaar van het kerk. Let us give them the due respect. Laten we hun de nodige respect geven. And with a clap of hands. En met een applaus.